Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we're going to be looking at MIDI macros in Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2. MIDI macros allow you to perform multiple actions in the software with just one control on your MIDI controller. So let's start by simply looking at a example of how MIDI macros work. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and map a command. So I'm going to go add in, then I'm going to go to FX unit, then I'm going to go to Effect 1 Selector. Now that I have that selected, I can go ahead, click Learn, and select a button on my MIDI controller. Then I'm going to change the type of control to Button. Then I'm going to go to Direct. And then I'm going to select Phaser. So now I have a button that when I press it, will switch the Effect 1 to a Phaser. So now we are going to map a second command that is going to be mapped to that control. So I'm going to go to add in, then I'm going to go to mixer, then I'm going to go FX unit one on. I'm going to once again select that same button, click learn, then I'm going to set the button type to toggle and the assignment to deck A. Now that I've mapped the second command to the same control, you'll notice that the other commands that are also mapped to that control are highlighted in yellow. As you can see, FX Unit 1 and FX Selector 1 share the same control and therefore are highlighted together. So now let's look at how that button actually interacts with the software. I should point out that these things happen at the exact same time, so it's not as if there's lag between one and the other. So when I press the button, it's going to do two things. First, it's going to set the effect unit 1 to the type of phaser. Then it's also going to turn FX unit 1 on for deck A. So I'm going to go ahead and press the button on my MIDI controller and you can see that both occur at the exact same time. So now let's look at a real world example. If you're like me, you probably import a lot of tracks into Tractor at the same time. And if you're prepping a large number of tracks, you can actually set up a few macros to help make the process easier. If you see my video on how I use cue points, you'll see that on every single track I have at least four cue points and they're all put in the same cue point schema. You can actually save time when doing this by using some macros. So I'm going to go ahead and create one of the macros that I like to use. So let's start by adding our first control. So I'm going to go to add in, then I'm going to go to track deck, cue, and then I'm going to select set and store plus store hot cue. Then I'm going to press the learn command, press a button on my MIDI controller. Then I'm going to change the type of controller from fader knob to button. Then I'm going to set the value to hot cue 7. That means that every time that I press that button, it will put in a cue point on the hot cue 7 slot. So now I'm going to go ahead and map my second command. So I'm going to go to add in, track deck, cue. Then I'm going to select Q type selector. This particular command will allow me to choose what type of Q point I have mapped to that particular hot cue slot. So once again, I'm going to press the learn button. Then I'm going to select that same button on my MIDI controller. You can see again that the other command is highlighted in yellow, indicating that we have a macro here. Then I'm going to press learn. I'm going to go down to button change the interaction mode to direct, and finally I'm going to set the value to fade out. So now what I've just set up is one button that will both set a cue point and save it to hot cue number seven. It will also change that particular cue point from a regular cue to a fade out cue point. Let's take a look at how this would work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a track and I will throw it into my particular deck. I'm just going to jump farther in and then I'm going to press the button. So you can see that in one button press it both adds that cue point and changes it to a fade out cue. So that's an overview of MIDI macros in Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2. If you like this video please subscribe at youtube.com slash the DJ podcast or at our newly redesigned website at the DJ Thanks for watching.